These floors are the foundation on which many students stand. Many blank canvases exist that have yet to be painted on. These walls reflect the learning mind in motion, in action, and in discovery. These rooms are home to students with infinite educational potential. It's there. It's all there. It's up to them to reach out and seize what lies before them. I want to see you in the mountain. I want to see you when the breaking day is sounding. You gotta go, you gotta go. It's so right. But I want to see you in the sea. Education allows opportunity, it allows growth, it combats ignorance, it provides a new arena in which people can experience knowledge and information, it changes lives. Education has a deep meaning for me. Um, I really feel like, hey, it's about content. I think a lot about my content and how much I love that. But I also think for, for high school students, it's about mm, empathy, compassion. Um, it's about offering kids tools to live their lives. And I really think that's what education is. I think that my education is my learning, is the way I view it. Now, obviously, my learning extends beyond that. But I think it's a great opportunity to grow, not just in academics, but as a person to see new perspectives, which the AP program really gives you an opportunity to do because it is uh, more expansive, it's more in-depth um, curriculum. It's really an opportunity to, one, learn information, but then learn how to apply it to your life. I take AP classes at Fort Collins High School because I find it important to challenge myself in an academic arena in order to succeed in life. AP is an incredible resource because it really it engages kids in what they're interested in. I always feel enriched leaving the classroom every day and I really enjoy like the discussions we have. And we, there's a lot more homework but it, it's always good homework. It's not like busy work. It's stuff that actually helps you learn. It's always awesome to be able to focus into the subject that you really like. So being able to choose which AP classes you want to take is really great. So I think being able to go to that higher level in the classes that you choose is good. Specifically what AP does is that it teaches students how to be how to be students in the university. It prepares me for the future, it prepares me for college and I know that by taking AP classes I'm not saying college is going to be easier but I will be better prepared for it. They are not like university courses, they are university courses and in that students get to experience in high school what it's going to be like in every single course they take at the university and that preparation is invaluable. We got some motivated kids. I mean we got really, really bright, motivated, hardworking kids. The people in the classes are pretty great too. It's a very intellectual situation to be in and I enjoy that. And it's really helping with like college. Maybe there is a small intimidation factor. I think it's a little bit frightening, that, that word advanced. Sometimes kids get scared of the amount of work that is um, purported and that's not always there. Maybe it's a challenge aspect. Maybe, maybe there's some uncertainty with kids about what exactly they want to do. Maybe they feel like, especially with music theory, that you know they really shouldn't do it unless they're going to go into music. Um, you do have to study. You do have to challenge yourself. Um, and sometimes kids are just flat out overwhelmed. You know, there's a lot going on in high school with college applications, with outside clubs, extracurriculars, sports. Um, it's figuring out how to balance. They think that they're not smart enough or they think that they'll be the stupid one in the class. And that's really not true because the only way you can learn the stuff to be in an AP class is to take AP classes. And I think that if you just go for it and challenge yourself, even if you're not sure if you can do it, you'll learn so much. 
some students just aren't in a place where they're ready to be a little more challenged. I think uh, some students are discouraged by the workload, especially in like certain AP classes that are like notorious for a lot of work. And that they should all not not look at that as something that's that's frightening, but look at it as something that's a challenge. I really feel like you gotta, you know, if you're not <laughs> challenging yourself, you're not growing. And when you're in high school, you want to open doors, not shut doors. High school is about opening doors. But then also being confident in what you have and your abilities, because I think then that's when you uh, get the most out of your learning, because you aren't so scared you're gonna make a mistake that you don't take a risk, but you are also uh, open and able to change and improve and get better and learn from others. You really always want to reach farther than you feel you can, uh, than your grasp is. You know, shoot for the stars. Even if you don't reach the stars, you'll end up on the moon. You, you'll at least get further than where you thought you could be. Strive, you know, and, and put away that self-doubt and become the learner you can be. Um, I think it's a wonderful challenge, and even if you don't ever even go on to college, try that class, try it, and you may find that it's your passion. I got my first B ever in my AP class last year, but it didn't really matter because it was more like the sum of what I learned rather than getting an A. And so it's really that experience that matters, not necessarily the grade. I think when we're young, we don't have a whole lot of confidence about what we can do. Um, I, my thought is try. Um, and work on it and figure out if you need support, figure out who can help you because there's a lot of help to be had. Our AP instructors are absolutely fabulous and experts at what they do and the results speak for themselves in terms of how well our kids do on the national exam and how many national scholars we have and the rest of it. I really believe that teachers here at Fort Collins High School in every classroom every day are striving to offer the best educational experience for all their students, whether it has the AP label or not. But we also have another group of faculty in this building who don't teach AP who are absolutely integral to the program. And that is, they are the folks who train kids, particularly when they are freshmen and sophomores, even in the junior year, in the reading and writing in their disciplines that indeed help those kids be successful in AP. This is a total effort at the school. From the top down, from our principal down, that it's emphasized, hey, we need to do a great job on this program. And I really think that's, that's a, whole, a whole mindset that we have here at FCHS that is really cool. And that's that we're, we have a strong AP focus, that we're, we're um, intent on making the AP experience as, as effective as we possibly can. And there are a lot of really you know, hardworking colleagues that I have who, who make sure that across the board we've got a good program. AP is a focus of the school. And as I like to say, we do AP and we do it very, very well because we've got great students, we have great parents, we have an excellent administration that supports it, and we've got a totally committed faculty to AP. You've got very passionate people. You know, we're really passionate about what we teach and I think, you know, the teachers, we, we challenge ourselves to be better teachers. I work hard. I, I do a lot of outside research. I, I go to the AP Institutes. Uh, I'm a member of the APA um, High School Teaching Association. I think that all of my colleagues that teach AP, we work really hard to offer kids the best classes that we can, whether it's AP or not. Is it perfect? No. Can we improve on it? Yes constantly, but that kind of, as you put it very well, congruence right. of all of those folks involved is what makes this such a successful program. And I think that students react to that. You know, we, we can have technology galore, but most students will say what makes the difference in a classroom as a passionate teacher. You know, um, I, th I think the, the biggest thing with teaching is that um, there's always a purpose to what, to what we do, and so, um, at the end of the day, maybe when I'm retired or, or even even on my deathbed, you know, I'll look back and I, I'll know that I at least made a difference for some kids, you know, and that's something, that's not something everybody can say. You know? I also believe the teachers here are far more qualified than the school that I was at before um, with uh, master degrees and, and post-master work. There, there's just a lot of teachers that know their subject matter very, very well. The AP teachers are some of the best teachers I've ever had and I'll never forget them. What you're dealing with, for the most part, are teachers who are very well educated in the field that they're teaching. Uh, and having pursued it so long probably means that, that we had a passion for it to begin with. 
I hope this is true, that I made a difference in the lives of some students, I helped them along on the path towards citizenship, and indeed helped all kinds of kids recognize that a very difficult and challenging subject, that when they put their minds to it, and indeed put their energy into it, they could be successful and they could prove to themselves that they could do something that they might not have thought they could do before they came into my classroom. The AP teachers here at Fort Collins High School are the best teachers I've ever had, hands down. And the fact of the matter is they teach you because you want to learn and because of that you learn better. Also the passion for it means that we're hoping to, to inspire that same feeling in, in the students who are in the room as well. I honestly don't see a reason not to take AP classes. I mean I see a reason if you're taking sports and working not to take five of them at once, maybe take only one or two, but still those teachers will work with you and you'll be able to take those classes. Even with, with a student body of almost 1,600 students, there is a sense of family, of nurturing, of supporting. They're going to have the support that they need to get through that and to do well in it, you know, because uh, we as a school believe in it and we see what it can do for you in life and we see what it can do for you uh, at the next level if you choose to go on to university. Uh, we back you up. I really, really hope that we can encourage all students to try an AP class. It requires you also to see yourself as capable of that. And I think that every student is capable of doing the AP. Um, they can realize that they can do it. it AP is just not for your um, you know, super high level students. I think it's accessible to everybody. The students that are going to succeed in the educational system are those that are going to take the leaps. They're going to take the chances. Whether they are going to succeed or not, that question is being answered by you taking that leap. I feel like kids who are on the fence, they usually can handle it, they can usually do it. Like, there are kids who are like, no way I'm taking that class, and they shouldn't. But I think a lot of kids can do it, they just put the effort forth, they should definitely at least try. Take the class. Take the class. If you are to take that leap, you're taking a risk with your education, and that's very noble, and it says something about your character and about your need to learn. Definitely go for it. Um, I would hope that everybody would at least try one. I would definitely encourage them to take it if it's an area that they're interested in. Um, it really allows you to grow in that area and if you end up not enjoying it, then it's better to find out now than to set down that career path or that path later in life and be like, oh, I don't like this area. If you don't have to get it right the first time or you'll, you'll never be successful. You have a, a cadre of teachers there who are dedicated to you uh, and to taking you to those higher levels at FCHS. As you're coming in, you're a little bit younger, maybe you're on the upper end of the spectrum, maybe you're not. Uh, be confident in what ideas you present, but also be open to the new suggestions, different interpretations of a piece of literature or different uh, methods to solve a math problem. Be open to those uh, different routes. Take clubs, take AP classes, and learn your little hearts out because you only get to high, do high school once and you better make it worth it. Do your homework, but don't procrastinate. It will suck if you do. It'll kill you. It will kill you, yes. Procrastination kills. Yeah. Tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs>